All right, James at Barber Creek Long Range Shooting School. We're going to talk about barrel twists and why it's important for a long range hunting rifle. Uh, the biggest thing is understanding that twist rate is designed to stabilize a bullet basically by length, sectional density, weight, and the type of bullet that it is. The further you get out, the more unstable a bullet can be. Just because you're shooting quarter inch or half inch groups at 100 yards does not mean that's going to go all the way out to 1,000 yards and you're gonna be shooting 2.5 inch groups at 1,000 yards. That bullet can become unstable due to the twist rate of your barrel. This is a one in eight twist barrel on this 6.5 Creedmoor, which means that for every eight inches of the barrel, the bullet does one full rotation. Now that bullet's gonna leave that barrel at about 275,000 revolutions per minute, which is gonna help keep it stable during its flight path. If your gun shoots really good at 100 yards and you get out to six, seven, eight, 900 yards, 1100 yards, and you're starting to open up your groups, it may not be your bullet or your powder charge. It could very well that you don't have the right twist rate. Now, luckily, most professional gun make makers are going to understand that. They're going to get the right barrel for the right caliber and a right bullet, and that's going to stabilize your bullet at long range. But barrel twist is very important. If you don't know what your barrel twist is, you bought a gun, you've had it for 10 years or five years, you bought it from a manufacturer that didn't tell you what it is and you can't get the information from them, it's pretty easy. Take a cleaning rod, run it down the barrel from the front of the barrel to the back of the gun all the way till it stops with a nylon brush on it. Pull it back until the brush engages the rifling. Take a piece of tape and put it right up against the muzzle and put a little flag on it. Start pulling the cleaning rod back, make sure the cleaning rod has a rotating handle on it, until the flag does one full rotation and measure from the back of the flag to the front of the barrel and you'll see if it's an eight twist or eight and a half or nine twist or 10 twist. That's one simple way to do it. It's not the best way, but at least it gives you a pretty good idea what your barrel twist is. Barrel twist is really important. One last thing about barrel twist, all North American barrels are right hand twist barrels for the most part. Because of that, the bullet is going to have something called spin drift, which we'll cover in another video. But the other thing is revolutions per minute. Bullet manufacturers are going to tell you if they should tell you, I know Berger does, that if you're over 300,000 revolutions per minute using what's called a cup and core bullet, in other words, lead core, copper jacket, that the jacket can start to separate from the lead core if you're over 300,000 revolutions per minute. So we've got to keep that in mind, especially for hunting because a lot of times then the bullet can basically what they call blow up on the shoulder where the jacket can separate from the lead core, the lead goes in but the jacket stays outside or it doesn't penetrate as deep. So try to keep those revolutions under 300,000 revolutions per minute. It's real simple to do. You just basically go into your calculator and then there's a calculation for it. So once you get into your, your calculator, if I can find it, there we go. And the calculation is your muzzle velocity, let's say this gun is, what is this gun running, Alan? 29.60. So 29.60 feet per second times 720 divided by twist rate, which is eight. This bullet is 266,400 revolutions per minute. We're well under 300,000. Hey, that's another downrange shooting tip from James at Barber Creek. Thanks for joining us.